you were a rising star at Amazon, a huge and growing business. Why leave Amazon to come to Splunk? Well, de demand for data has never been greater. And Splunk has the most powerful data platform in the world. So it's exciting to be here. And it's also really fun to be part of a high growth company that is still building. And by nature, I'm a builder and I'm an innovator. So it's really exciting to be here. And we are so focused on our customer success to get them to the cloud. I thought, what a better role for me than to help our customers move to the cloud faster. How will your experience at AWS drive Splunk's sales, success, and growth? Well, if you look at my experience at AWS, I spent the last almost 11 years in a really high growth business around the world looking at different markets. I built our public sector market from zero to billions. And then I took on our industries, our highly regulated industries. So I think that uniquely will help me understand how to expand markets here at, AWS, here at Splunk uh, based on my background at AWS. But also really, it, uh, I spent a lot of my time helping the customers innovate and go through their digital journey. And here at Splunk over, uh, if you look at our last quarterly earnings, 83% of our software bookings were in cloud. So we are well on our way in these last two years but we still have a lot of customers that are moving to the cloud and many more that want to come on the Splunk cloud platform. So with my background at AWS and just really understanding the digital journey and how customers think about this and the migration patterns, I believe that I'm going to really be able to help Splunk uh, actually move a little bit faster in those areas just because of my background and knowledge. Now, Silver Lake recently announced a $1 billion investment in Splunk. What exactly does that mean? Wow, we are, we are so excited about that. I think that's just another example of what investors are considering with Splunk, which, yes, they just made a billion-dollar investment in Splunk, and they could invest in anybody in the world, and they looked at us and said, we believe Splunk has a much higher growth potential. So Emily will be using that fund to continue to accelerate our growth initiatives. But in addition to that, we also announced a $1 billion stock buyback. So that's kind of a double. And then uh, Ken Howe will be our new board member from, uh, from Silver Lake, who is the chairman there. So we're super excited about that. And we believe that will hopefully bring other investors to the table that understand high tech and high growth. So, you know, I know this is a big question, but in a nutshell, as people come back to the office, life goes back to normal, what sort of post-pandemic growth do you see in the cloud? Do you see the acceleration that we saw over the last year starting to slow down, or does it just keep getting faster and the cloud keep getting bigger? Yeah, that's a great question, Emily. In my experience, I've only been here eight weeks, but my experience prior tells me that we are not going to see any slowdown. Uh, customers have changed forever. And one of the big things that changed their attitude is I think when a customer cannot get into their data centers, when they can't get to their tooling, their applications, they drive change quickly. And if, if, if COVID taught us anything as businesses that we had to be prepared to be digital, be prepared to work virtually and be prepared to manage all of our systems at every level in a cloud and digital world. I don't see anything changing at all. And if you look at most companies, they're announcing that they are not going to go back into the office full time. That means all of their workers are going to have to work and in in interact in a virtual world. Now, I have to ask you because, you know, since you've left Splunk, left Splunk, there have been, a, I mean, left Amazon, there's been a lot of news at Amazon. Jeff Bezos preparing to step down, <clears throat> Andy Jassy preparing to step up, Adam Solipsky being hired as the CEO of AWS, and Jeff Bezos planning to go into space next month. What's your take on all of this? Uh, well, I can just tell you, Amazon is a fantastic company. I worked for Andy Jassy uh, the last almost 11 years. I'm a huge fan of his. I think he is in, uh, that Amazon is not going to miss a beat with Andy at the helm, for sure. And Jeff going into space, wow, I'm so excited. One of my final things I did at AWS was start an aerospace and satellite business unit. 
So I was thrilled because I was like, okay, because I do believe in Jeff's philosophy that space is the next new market for us to be in. And I'm absolutely sure Splunk is going to be there. So it's it's definitely uh, the new space that we're going to be in. So I'm excited for Amazon and they're a big partner of, of ours here at Splunk. 